And now it is exactly a week ago that President uh, Nana Dudankwe Kufuado visited the OT region to inaugurate some projects and inspect some ongoing ones. At KJB, the President inspected the 56.4 kilometer Jasikan Dodo Pepesu Road, over 77% of work done on the road, while uh, over 28% of asphalt work has also been done. But residents are asking for other road infrastructure to be fixed as soon as possible to avert any road crashes as drivers are speeding due to the good nature of the road. Correspondent Peter Senu has more in this report. On the 9th of September 2021, the president was in the T region to, among other things, inspect the construction of 56.4 kilometer Jessica and Pepeso stretch of the Eastern Corridor Road. In this report, we bring you the extent of work done and some concerns from residents and officials working on the road. So far, over 28% of asphalt work done and over 77% of the road has been completed. The project manager for Sino Hydro Corporation, Lee Long, says they are likely to finish ahead of schedule. The only challenge for them is cutting chippings from Shy Hills all the way to the construction site here in the OT region. Yes, we'll finish it uh, within the contract period. Even uh, if we try, we can finish the, uh, before that, uh, end, uh, that end. Asphalt work now is 28% uh, done and uh, the total work is uh, about 77% done. So uh, we'll re finish it within the contract period. Uh, the challenge is uh, our, we are taking our chippings from a far end from Shahius. So now it, it can delay the works somehow, but we are trying our best to solve it. He is also appealing for cooperation from residents in the Jasika and KGB areas. Uh, if they have uh, some requests about uh, our project, uh, please come to us directly. I hope them they won't uh, damage the finished uh, job uh, themselves. He also added the contract sum is sufficient and they would not request for extra amount except there is additional work to be done. The scope of the work now, uh, ministry give to us, uh, we can finish to within the capital, unless they give us more work. For Emmanuel Clou, the resident engineer for Ghana Highways Authority, the attitude of some drivers and motor riders leave much to be desired of them. We are only pleading that the drivers should take their time to read. Some of them, they don't read. The mandate speed in towns is 50 and below, not 50 and above. Okay, so it means that everybody should play his part on the road when he sits behind the steering. And if you are in streets, also be careful. Because everything can cross you. Some people have broken some culverts and new drains either deliberately or accidentally. This place was allegedly broken by the occupants of this facility. But the owner has since denied any knowledge. The place has become sand-winning spot. I don't know anything about him. The culvert? Yeah. It's not me. So who did it? I don't know. But it's close to your workplace. Me, one thing that I, I, me, I don't stay here, at this village. Okay. Only I can work, then I go. Some residents and road users are asking for speed ramps to be installed to reduce speeding at the various intersections. Uh, but that matter, you know, the, only the motor riders. Include the drivers. You know, this T junction it be very, very, very dangerous. Sometimes, if you don't cross, they don't, they don't go watch left and right before they go cross. I don't know if the go feel manage do some speed ramp here. If you do, it's good. The Okada riders may misuse it. I think we need to have some road uh, ramble strips in certain part of it. It will help us. And then we still need to educate the Okada riders and then some of the drivers as to how to use it. It is new so that this road can take some time, it will last. The rate at which the cars are speeding on the road and for us staying or living along the road, crossing is becoming a problem for us. So we want to appeal that a speed ramp should be constructed. This, Emmanuel Clou says, would be done in the coming days. 
going forward, we also appeal to residents to drive safe and then observe all road regulations as we try to drive and arrive alive. And my name is Peter Sanu for Joy News. It's on 32 minutes off the top of the hour. We take a break. We'll be back with more.